If you could only have one last meal before you died, what would it be? In some states, the death penalty is a state practice of killing a person as a punishment for their crimes. On death row, inmates are given one last meal of anything you could possibly imagine before they face their death. In my opinion, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, but this is just some of the strangest last meals people have had on death row. John Wayne Gacy, also known as the Killer Clown, sexually and murdered 33 men and buried 26 of them in the crawl space of his own home. He went by the name of Pogo the Clown. John would dress up as a clown for charity events at the Children's Hospital, also for political events. He even met the first lady. I bet if she knew there was 26 dudes buried under his house, she probably wouldn't have been shaking his hand. Before he was executed by lethal injection, his last food request was a bucket of KFC original recipe, fried shrimp, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Did he even deserve that? Probably not. This clown guy used to actually be a manager at a KFC. That's why this is so weird. This is good, but for a last meal, Really? If I was gonna have a last meal, it would be something insane. Lobster mac and cheese, king crab legs, an entire crab boil, a chocolate fountain, like. These strawberries are bussin' bussin'. I'm gonna give this last meal a three out of 10. Definitely not what I would've chosen. James Edward Smith requested dirt to be his last meal. He was sentenced to death because he robbed a union's national life insurance company in which he killed one of the tellers. During James' court trial, he attempted to escape and he ran from the courthouse and he was caught a few blocks away by a police officer. The day before his execution, he requested Ray Conda dirt, although his request was denied because dirt was not on the list of approved foods. According to soil experts, Ray Conda dirt is actually used to perform voodoo rituals, which James believed in and practiced. He requested the dirt in order to perform a voodoo ritual, which he thought would help assess him in reincarnating. But because his request for dirt was denied, he got a small cup of yogurt for his last meal. Imagine only getting to have yogurt as your last meal. That's just really sad. Yogurt as my last meal. Mm. It's not as good as dirt to do a voodoo ritual so I can be reincarnated, but yogurt, uh, it's gonna get a one for me. Strap in for this one. Have you ever heard of Ted Bundy? He went on a seven state murdering spree, killing 30 women in which he kidnapped a s and murdered them between 1974 and 1978. The number of total victims that Ted Bundy had was unsure, and the number is likely a lot higher than what he was actually charged for. He was known for being a very charming and cool dude. He was very smart, and he was going to school to be a lawyer. But in his off time, he was kidnapping girls and killing them and cutting their heads off and saving them as mementos and taking them to his apartment where he collected 12 heads. And even worse, he would return to some of the places that he left the bodies of his victims and perform sexual acts on their lifeless body until they completely decomposed. Ew! And suddenly I'm just not hungry anymore. That is sick. Ted Bundy refused his last meal before he was executed, so instead they just brought him the regular prison steak, eggs, hash browns, and toast. But he didn't eat any of it. I don't want to say he got what he deserved because it would have been way better for him to just rot in a cage for the rest of his life and think about all the things that he did because he's a horrible person. I could understand why he didn't want to eat in that moment. There is no way that they serve this in prison. I'm supposed to believe that they give you steak in prison, but not only that, hash browns, eggs, and toast? This was his last meal, but he decided he wasn't gonna eat any of it. He probably didn't have an appetite at all. Uh, under the circumstances, I don't think anyone would, but still, it goes to show that even the craziest, sickest people may have feelings too. 
Thomas J. Grasso strangled an 87-year-old woman using her own Christmas lights on December 24th, which is my birthday. But even then so, he stole $4 out of her purse, $8 in loose change, and her TV set, which costed $125. Like, why would you do that? And six months later, he killed an 81-year-old man and stole his social security check on the 4th of July. Way to ruin a holiday, dude. For his last meal, he requested one dozen mussels, one dozen clams, a wedge of lemon, a double cheeseburger from Burger King, half a dozen spare ribs, two strawberry milkshakes, one half of a pumpkin pie with whipped cream and cubed strawberries, and a can of SpaghettiOs and meatballs. Who allowed this man to get this much food? Oh, my bad. Cause that was necessary. You know what's crazy is I bet this dude actually did eat all this food. I'm gonna admit it. This guy had good taste in seafood cause I would totally eat mussels all day, every day. So far, this one's my favorite. This dude was bougie. He even asked for lemon. He got two strawberry milkshakes. They gave him a whole rack of ribs. This dude was throwing a whole party. Wow. Double cheeseburger specifically from Burger King. They gave this dude spaghetti. He ordered SpaghettiOs with meatballs. This. One of his last words while he was alive was, they didn't give me SpaghettiOs. They gave me spaghetti. It, there's no way that this dude ate all this food. Give me the seafood, I'ma call this one a 10. He was a horrible man, but he had good taste in food. Victor Fager kidnapped a doctor and killed him to gain access to any prescriptions he might have had in his office. The doctor's body was found in a cornfield with a single shotgun wound to the head. For Victor's last meal request, he asked for a single olive with the pit still inside of it. He told the guards that he would hoped an olive tree would sprout from his grave as a sign of peace. An olive! for my last meal. Did he really choose this as his last meal? I get the thought, like he wanted to show peace and mercy with the olive tree growing. You could have done that in a million other ways, dude. I have never eaten an olive like this. This is good. I mean, I don't see why he didn't ask for 20 more of these, but this is good. They did find the olive seed in the pocket of his outfit, but Sadly, that's not what he was buried in, so the olive tree never actually grew. For the thought behind it, the taste, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Actually, no, an eight. He probably should have eaten more food and then asked for the olive on the side, but that's, that's stupid. On April 19th, 1995, Timothy McVeigh drove a rented truck with 5,000 pounds of explosives strapped to it into a federal building in Oklahoma. The explosion destroyed the north half of the building, leaving 168 people dead and 680 people wounded. It was also known as the Oklahoma City He died of lethal injection at the age of 32. For his last meal, he requested two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. During his execution, he didn't say a single word, but he left a note behind, and it said, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Which is really weird because my ex-boyfriend had that tattooed on him. Well, honestly, I can't believe he ate two of these. Mint chocolate chip really is the best flavor of ice cream. Honestly, this is a pretty damn good last meal. I think it's safe to say that orange isn't my color, but comment down below what would be your last meal you would ever have. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see a part two, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like videos like this so I make more videos like it. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell button, turn your post notifications on so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me on any of my social medias at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be too. Thanks for coming back to another video and I will see you here in my next one. Toodles.